Hello there, and welcome to an overview of the New Brunswick Community College Network Support and Network Administration programs. This is a shot of the St. John Campus Engineering Building that houses our network support and network administration labs. The two programs that we're going to discuss, the network support and network administration, are part of the NBCC School of Information Technology. And I assume that the reason that you are here is the question, what will you learn? Over the course of either one or two years, there's a variety of different courses that we'll get into. But starting off, there are shared technology courses that include the uh, topics covering the hardware that we use in computer networks, whether it is the PC or the server. Networking courses, which cover the components and the theory behind computer networking, also the operating systems that we use, and as well, introduction to programming and introduction to web development. These shared technology courses allow us to give you a good grounding in the field of information technology, network administration, and network support. The program options in the fall, there is a common first term between the network support, network administration, programmer analyst, web and mobile application development programs. In the winter, in from that runs from January until April, those particular courses are common in the first year between the network support and the network administration programs. And that continues on through the spring in April and June. Again, network support and network administration having those courses in common. And at the end of that first year, the network support program ends. If you carry on and decide to pursue your network administration uh, diploma, then we have our two year courses that you will enter into. And if you successfully complete the second year of network administration, you can then look at a post postgraduate IT program such as cybersecurity, business analysis, and data analytics. The first year courses, again, the fall term, our first term, is shared between the network administration and the network support programs, as well as the program analyst programs. They include applied writing, interpersonal communications, the Microsoft client operating systems, Windows 10, systems one, the hardware components and the setup of the hardware of computers. And these are personal computers that we're discussing. Introduction to Networks, the first of three courses towards the Cisco Certified Network Administrator, and the Fundamentals of Web Design and an Introduction to Programming. That Introduction to Programming course is a vital course for any network admin, as it lays the groundwork for you to later on in your career, if you have to do scripting or if you have to do uh, some programming to automate the day-to-day -day tasks on network, it is a very good skill set to have in your back pocket. In the winter term, we cover employment strategies. We introduce the fundamentals of Linux. We start to introduce the Microsoft Server Operating Systems, and that is our intro to Microsoft Server OS course. Systems 2, this is a hardware course, which is a continuation of the Systems 1 course, in which we will investigate the installation, configuration, and troubleshooting of computer hardware. And the second of the Cisco based courses, the routing and, and switching, which is uh, the second of three of the CCNA courses. In the spring term, there is an applied studies network solutions course. And the goal of this course is to take all of the things that you've covered so far in the first year and put those into practice. It's a challenging course, but it is a lot of fun where you get to do a lot of hands on work. There is also an elective and there is a continuation of the Microsoft Server Operating Systems course. Here's a shot of the Moncton campus and some of the equipment that the students get to work with there. And this is a shot of the St. John campus and one of the labs in the St. John campus and some of the students working on uh, some of the hardware course material there. In the second year, in the fall term, we look at business for IT professionals, an alternative solutions course. This is a course where we get to spread our wings a little bit as instructors or as programs and 
different campuses may focus on different things. For example, in Moncton, they may be doing cloud computing in the alternative solutions course, whereas here in St. John, we may be concentrating on PowerShell. There is a SQL Server Administration course, which serves as an introduction to the administration of database servers. Virtualization is everywhere. We use VMware here at the college, and we have our enterprise virtualization course, and we continue on with more Windows Server Administration courses as well. In the winter term, running from January until April, Microsoft Exchange Server Administration, configuring Windows uh, Server Services, as well more Linux with Linux administration. We also have a dedicated Network Security Essentials course. There are aspects of network security which are introduced in previous courses, but this particular course narrows the focus and delves deeper into Network Security Essentials. And then there is another project-based course, Applied Studies 2, and the Advanced Network Solutions course takes everything that you've learned up to that point in the second year, puts it into one course, typically will break you up into teams and have you prototype networks or do such activities as that. And finally, in the spring term of the second year, there is a five week work placement. This is an example of some of the equipment that students get to work with. Um, on the left, there are some core switches and some servers, uh, a server stack in the middle, and on the right-hand side of this slide, again, another set of servers that students get to play with. As far as the network administration and support roles that you may see out there, the various jobs would include Windows Network Administration, working with Active Directory, working with user accounts, um, organizational units and group policies. As well, there are a variety of different help desk jobs which are out there and levels of help desk jobs, tier one, tier two, and tier three. Typically, for many organizations, a tier one person is that person that you first reach on the other end of the phone when you phone the help desk. More serious or more complicated uh, issues get escalated up the ladder to tier two and to tier three. There are also jobs in network operations centers. What is a network operations center? You may be administering networks here from St. John or Moncton or Woodstock, and those networks you're administering may be on the other side of Canada, maybe in California, down in the southern states. There are also opportunities for database admins and virtualization support. Virtualization is mission critical these days, and virtualization can be found in data networks, that we would normally associate with Windows. And also virtualization is found in the industrial plant floor. And some of our graduates are now working full time supporting virtualization on the plant floor and others are working on data networks. The organizations that have hired our students in the past include Alliant, ExploreNet, the Irving Oil Group of Companies or the Irving Group of Companies, McCain's, Innovatia, iSpire and countless others. Typically, when you're on campus, this is an example of some of the Cisco switches and routers that you may see here over on the left hand side. On the right hand side would be an example of a core switch, and that particular model is a Cisco 6513. So what happens after you've completed your two year diploma? If you have an information technology two year diploma that does qualify you and can lead to a cybersecurity one year post diploma. And the cybersecurity program, cybersecurity, of course, being more and more paramount and important in today's uh, current network um, posture. So there are a good many companies out there looking for people who are specializing in cybersecurity. We've had great success with our students coming from the two year programs and heading into the cybersecurity program. There are also opportunities for doing some applied research, whether these uh, applied research projects would be solely funded or uh, contained within NBCC, or there are other projects in which we partner with industry. And again, we have students who have at the end of their two year diploma have gone on to work in some of these applied research projects. Another very common question that we get is, what do I end up making for money when I graduate from one of these programs? And that's hard to give you a finite single number, but what I can tell you is that the range that we've seen over the past few years would fall in the $35,000 to $50,000 Canadian range for starting salaries. 
The other nice thing about our programs, the NBCC information technology employment rates are always very good. For example, in 2018, 89% of our 2018 graduates were with, employed within one year, and 94% of employed 28 graduates were working here in New Brunswick. If you have more questions, you can schedule a personal call with a recruitment advisor, or you can contact me for IT program information. My email is peter.mcdevitt at nbcc.ca. I thank you very much for your time and wish you well on whatever your future endeavors are and wherever your travels may take you. Thank you very much.